What's up guys, this will be a critique of Zamirul's 7.86 3x3 average of 5. So for the first scramble, by the way, if you want to get yourself critiqued, just send me a YouTube video link in the comments section with your solves and make sure you reconstruct them. So ideally it would be an average of 5. Anyways, solve 1, 7.55. So all the scrambles and reconstructions will be in the description along with the video. So x2, y, d2 to move these cross edges over here. And then l, f prime, l prime to into this one. And then u, b2. So it's kind of decent, the cross. But what I would have done here would be something like f, d, r prime, and then d, r. Then solve this one. But what you did is okay as well. So anyways, and you solved it like this. And ideally when you do a U B2, instead of doing something like a U and then B2, you can either just push the U and then do a B2 or do U and then left-handed B2 like that. So it would be a soft regret. But anyways, U, B2, U2, and then solve your first pair. What you did here was R, U, R prime, U prime, rotate, into this pair. So there's a better way to just, there's a better way to do it other than that. So you can do U prime, R, and then B prime, U prime, B. So just insert from this angle and then R prime. But anyways, you paired it up and then rotate it followed by inserting. And the next pair was fine, it is what I would have done. Then here, you could have done something very simple, like just, well, it's not very simple, but it's easy to understand. You're just pseudo slotting both of them. So you can do something like YG prime and then solve this pair. And in this case, you would pair it up with this edge commutator and ideally cancel into a sledge. And then you can just do a D. But anyways, what you did was pair it up. And instead of two slotting, you could also just keyhole. And in this case, we do a D prime U prime, D prime U, and then insert this edge. Sorry, insert this corner and then D. But you just paired it up and then insert it. Then pair this pair up. And instead of rotating for a sledge, you can just do a lefty hedge. So F prime L, F L prime. And anyways, you had this COLL followed by a U perm. All right, so that was the first solve. Let's see what you did for the second solve. So what you did here was X to Y prime. Okay, this cross seems to be pretty good. So you did u prime r2 and then u prime f2 to ensure this one last cross edge d prime b prime d nothing really wrong with the cross here then u pair this pair up with l prime ul and then insert with l ul prime in this case i would have just canceled into this pair like that but you didn't see that pair and you ended up doing this pair over here so u prime Oh, you did a soon and cancel into inserting. So I don't really like the solution. Something you can do instead is like U, R2 prime, U2 prime, R, U, R prime, U, R2. Or anti soon, insert the pair. Or there's also something like sledge over here and then insert this pair since you have the slot empty. What you did isn't bad though, so yeah just did a soon and then insert the pair and luckily that gave you a free pair but unfortunately you didn't do that free pair and then you went with this pair that i mentioned earlier so l prime u prime l u r prime prime l and rotate solve this pair pair it up and then insert okay so all l followed by pll which you did okay another ua perm you could have done rus but not really necessary, although it does make it faster. Anyways, x to y prime, 
Third solve, 8.82. Du at the same time, R prime D, and then L, F B prime at the same time. So that's actually a pretty good cross. I can't really see anything wrong with it, but for cross plus one, what I would have done is something like B prime and okay, so F two, and then U prime R U prime R prime U two F prime, instead of what you did, which was just do the F and then pair this pair up and then insert. Can't blame you because this solution isn't very known. So F U prime R U prime R prime U two F prime. But yeah, you should learn it. It's very nice. You did U prime R prime R prime B prime L prime B prime L, and then U prime. Okay, this pair again. R U R prime L U L prime. Next, what you did was okay. So you you wrote you rotated for this pair. U two R U R prime U rotate R U R prime. There's a couple of things to know. So since you already had it over here, you can do R U two R prime to pair it up, and then insert either with a rotation or with a fat f r fat f prime, or with a s on s prime. In this case, fat f r fat f prime would be ideal. But anyways, you paired up from this angle, and then rotated. And once again, here you can do the fat f r fat f thing, or the s or s prime thing. And there's also another way to solve it from here. So s r s prime r prime b two r. So like that, or f prime u f like that r prime u two r this is from jada mcneil don't really use this because the srs prime way is more reliable and in a better grip well they end in the same grip but it starts in a worse grip anyways you paired it up rotated inserted and that led to this pair which you did a very long solution with for let's see what you did so r prime r prime u Hold on. Interesting. What did you do for this pair? You know what? I'll just set this up. So what you did was... Okay, so you just had this pair and you did R U prime R prime U, R U prime R prime F R F prime U two sledge. Okay, so it isn't really worth it to do this solution, so just pair it up and insert honestly. No need to avoid a dot. You just do that. It's much better to just take the dot than do a stupidly long insert. So yeah. If you really want to get some of your edges, you can do something like R U prime R prime U S prime R U R prime S, and then just do them like that. But ideally, just solve it with R U. Anyways, let's see what you had for ZBLL. Okay, so let me solve the cube and then set up the ZBLL so I can know if it's a good algorithm or not. Oh, it's just. Lefty soon, into soon. In which case, there's nothing wrong with it. So yeah, that was the third solve. Fourth solve, 8.44. Let's see. So, okay, this looks like a pretty long cross, and I would have done something like D, L, B, F prime, L2, R, D. I might just show that on a different cube. So... I'll just so show what I would have done first, and it would be D, L, and then solve these two, B F prime, L two, and then R, and then cancel into this to make an X cross. But anyways, what you did was X two, Y two. Also, a tip for reconstructions: instead of writing X two Y two, you can simply write Z two. Okay. Anyways. F L B F D prime L R prime F R D. So that's your solution. I would have recommend doing the solution that I showed on this cube. For for first pair, I honestly would have just done this pair S R S prime. Uh, you happen to do another pair, so this one U prime 
I'll prime you out, you prime, and then rotate into into the front right. So it's better to rotate into the back left, or just not rotate at all. But anyways, you can just do U, or not do the U since you already had the corner up here, and do a sledge all by inserting the pair. And that would be a better solution for this pair. Another interesting solution is you can have it over here, and since this lot is empty, you can do F, water, U prime, water prime, U prime, F prime. Interesting solution. I wouldn't really use it since you had the corner over here, and I would just do a sledge and then into the pair. But you do this, and then rotate into the front right. D, U. Okay, insert this edge into here. Nice, keyhole is very good. And then here you did a Y2. Why did you do a Y2? Hmm. I would have just done an R prime to R, but you rotated and did a Y2. Could have just done L prime U to L, but you did U L prime U L. And that happens to be a good idea because it paired this pair up. Then next rotate and then insert the pair. Cool. Now you had the solo L and then LPL you did the left DA for. Just a tip. If you don't do the ring pinky or pinky ring double flicks, you should start doing it for the D2. I'm not good at lefty, but if you want to use lefty, make sure that you do use ring pinky or pinky ring instead of ring middle. Anyways, let's check the final solve. So, you did an X2. I should have on yellow cross, but whatever. And then R prime, D, L. Three move cross, very nice. Nothing wrong you can do here. Um, yeah, there's literally nothing wrong you can do with a three move cross like this. First pair you rotated, and once again, insert into the front right slot. Don't do that, insert into the back left slot, please, for first pair. There is also a rotationless insert, that's pretty nice, so R prime U2, sledge R. So R prime U2, sledge R. Anyways, you rotated this way, solved it like that, rotate. R, U, R prime, oh, to take out this edge, and then D prime, L prime, L, D. So the keyhole part was good, but you can just do F prime, R prime, F2, R, F to solve it. Or if you can just rotate R2, U prime, R prime, U, R2. But you did take the edge out, keyhole, not too bad. But just keep in mind that you can also do F prime R prime U two, F prime R prime F two R F, and then third pair free pair. Next you had this pair, so pair it up and then rotate followed by inserting. So cool solution that you can do F U two R U R prime U F prime. For this angle, but you just pair it up inserting, which isn't really that bad, and then all L U prime. You did this all. I honestly would have just chosen to do the inverse mirror. So R, B prime, R2 prime, F, R2, B, R2 prime, F prime, R. Sorry, that's not the right algorithm. R prime, F, R2, B prime, R2 prime, F prime, R2, B, R prime. Wasn't looking at the cube. <laughs> yeah, but it, it would be better to do this algorithm instead of this algorithm since you already were in a righty grip after doing the last pair. Anyways. You did this out, and then you, you be perm. So yeah, thanks for watching. Oh, and before I end the video, let me just sum up all of the things you should be working on. So for cross, your crosses look decent, except for that one cross, which I showed a better solution on here. And your cross plus one, I'm not sure if you plan first pair, but you definitely should start to spend more time on cross plus one because even if you did plan it, you don't seem to be 
choosing the best pair. And your F2 all is pretty efficient. There just seems to be sometimes, not a lot, but sometimes you seem to be rotating unnecessarily. Although you're doing pretty nice. And yeah, just learn some cool F2 all solutions like this one, F1 R1 F2 R F. You can also do it from this angle, R2 U from R2 prime U R2. Or something like this would be very nice. R V prime U prime B R prime. Anyways, yeah. OLL, PLL, I don't really see anything wrong. Your algs are pretty good. You also use that one ZBLL on that salt, which is nice. So yeah, thanks for watching.